friends, today we are doing a daily grind setup video, but first I want to flip through what I've done with May's planner before we set up for June. So let's go ahead and grab this one that's nice and full and go ahead and take a look before we set up and decorate a little bit for June. All right, so I used this beautiful spiritual siren cover for the month. And I think it's beautiful and was the perfect fit for this month, but I do have a few of these covers, so it's nice to mix and match them and switch them out and all of that. So this is what my planner looks like right now. I have to fill this out, update here, update this. This is all kind of like the goal setting stuff that I can come back to month after month. Then this is how May's looks for, um, the after the pen and all of that. So here were my top 10 goals and you'll see how I do those um, in the pages ahead. I love this new little important days this month. I was able to write down a couple of big things that were coming up. I haven't put any thoughts down here, but I probably should fill that out. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks after the pen and after being decorated. Hopefully some of these pages will give you a few ideas for how to decorate it. As you can see, sometimes I don't decorate at all. Other times I just use a little highlighter, especially when it's really busy. This is more what it's like because ultimately the planner has to be useful. But decorating and doodling is a form of self-care and a creative outlet for me. So uh, when I can, I love to make it really bright and colorful and fun. So these are all the after the pens. This new week in the re in review page is super fun. Um, I love that they're putting it on a full page now instead of squished into half pages. That makes me really happy. As you can see, I use a printed top 10 goals. So I use a Canva template that I created and write out my goals for the month. And then I print it on sticker paper and cut it out like this box here and stick it down. So I do have that linked down below. Um, you can join my email list and I'll send this to you so that you can write out your top 10 goals that way. It just works better for me to be able to fill out my planner as quickly as possible um, with two kids running underfoot, one of which is a toddler. It's uh, a little wild sometimes. But anyways, I love how these pages turned out this month. I'm super into the pastels, you'll see. Um, <laughs> a whole bunch of pastel spreads all in a row, doing different types of boxes and the kind of grid look there. It was just so fun to just doodle. Anyways, I think it all turned out pretty well. I used my planner so much. Today is the first day I haven't filled it out yet. There was one day where I back planned, but today's I haven't filled out yet because I've just been super busy and when I got this moment, I decided I wanted to set up my planner and I can fill it out at the end of the day and catch up. But um, some days are busier and I don't fill out here. This is the most important part for me. So if you have any questions about where stickers are from, let me know, I'll do my best to remember. But this is where we are and I'm starting to set up for June. So I have a little bit left to get to the end of the month. Besides that, in this planner, I have my reading tracker, which I won't be updating today. I want to print out a bunch of books and stick them in, like the pictures of the books. And the way that I've been using it now is going to change a little bit. And setting up that and changing or adding some pages that I create is going to take some time. So I think that could be its own video. Anyways, this is where I'm at. I have so many to fill out here because I finished Akatar. I started Throne of Glass. I'm in the third book and my TBR list is huge now. So this is what I'm using to just write down what I've finished. And then I'm doing this challenge, need to create my own challenge. And then this is my TBR list. So I need to add all of the throne of glass things and what I want to do is put the books here when I finish them. So I need to print out a bunch of photos. I need to update this as well and then this is what I was using to get back in the reading habit and so you can see I started April 29th using this one and I used it for a few weeks to really get in the habit and then I was really hooked and I'm reading every night before bed. I'm used to putting my phone down and I don't scroll endlessly 
So that's been great. So I don't think I need this weekly reading log anymore. So I won't be using these pages um, anymore because it's just one more thing to track each day. And that's a little overwhelming at this point. But I do want to use this. So I'll need to print out the pictures here as well. So I'll need to print out two different sizes. I'll measure them, pull them into Canva and do all that and fill these out for May. So I'll do that in a whole other video. Then I have a note section, which I'm not gonna show you, uh, but it's just using the filler paper from the Daily Grind and then a whole section that I haven't um, used. So we're gonna do, anyways, um, that is the whole Franken planner in my Daily Grind planner for the month of May. A Franken planner is when you pull different pieces together to make your own planner and make it perfect for you. So you're like Frankensteining all these different bits and pieces together. So that was May's. Let's go ahead and set up for June. So I did a question on uh, Instagram in a poll in my stories and showed my various planner covers and it was pretty overwhelming. I was like three quarters decided this one should be for June. So that's what we are going with. I love the yellow, it definitely is very summer. So let's go ahead and figure out, there it is. I was like, I know I have these somewhere, but there are all these great little stickers. Is this one long thing? This is one long thing. Does it come apart? No, I think it's just one long thing. So it would need to go like here or something like that. Okay, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use some of these. Let it burn so bright. I like that one. So we're gonna put that right in the middle. I love these reusable stickers. I mean, eventually they'll wear out if you tear them off so many times, but they really work very well. So we are going to decorate as much as we can. Let's do a nice big teacup over here. I like that. Okay, I do want to shift this one a little bit and then rotate the heart just a little bit more straight up. It makes a little more space. Okay, so we have that and I'm going to stick this back in here. And then it does come with these, which I used last time, um, but I know what order my things are in. So I think I'll leave them like that. But look at how cute this is. Oh my God. Okay, so. This is just the cutest. We are gonna put in my planner pages for June and I already did decorate the month ahead with my top 10 goals. I still do need to set up the file to print out all the goals for some daily pages. So if you're interested, I've done that in other videos before, shown how I print those out. So I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna decorate the first few pages and leave space to, uh, Put that in here and not do any highlighter there or anything like that. All right and as mentioned the reading tracker will be another video since that'll take long enough so that will go here and then notes will go here. If anyone has any ideas of what to put here let me know. I do use a weekly planner in um, Happy Planner so I don't need like any other planner pages and I have a journal. I use dot grid notebooks for journals so anyone has any ideas for this last one, let me know. All right. So I have so many different stickers that I've received um, in the last few weeks, maybe shopped a little too much. I do have some Daily Grind stickers, just ordered some of these deco sheets. And then I have some stickers that I haven't used in a while that I've been kind of hoarding. So I have Mo Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop, which is on Etsy. One of these is holidays and one of these is not, so I'll have to look. Then I got Live Love Posh, two new sticker books, which are these ones. And I've been holding on to these Pineberry Paper stickers, which are so cute. And I want to use those at some point. I know a lot of you love Disney, so I have new Disney stickers from Happy Planner as well as new stickers that I ordered from the spring and back to school releases. So many stickers, you guys. Um, and then I also ordered from Wrong Wrong and got these three. They're super cute. Oh, and then here's Alice, also from Happy Planner. So I have so many stickers to choose from and to use. So I figured what we do is decorate a few pages with a few different sticker books and just go for it 
and then I'll have a good start on the month of June. All right, so let's start with this week ahead page. And I wanna start with Alice because I love her, but this sticker book is so cute, you guys look at it. And I'm going to start with using washi strips. I love using washi strips in the boxes to just give a little bit of decoration. And I get a cutting tool that is a glue. Okay, they both look the same. They're like these little clicker pens. One is for cutting and one has tiny little glue, which is pretty cool. All right, so I love doing this to kind of bring the whole spread together by having just like kind of a matching theme throughout and then I add other stickers around. So you can do this with washi, you can do this with highlighter, and you can really do it with anything. And I will have little bits left over because this one will be too small to use, so I'll just stick it to the side. Okay, let's see. I think this one is too short. Yeah. And then we'll go up here. I need another long one to not keep wasting so many pieces of it. It's really hard to tell which ones are long. There we go. We'll start low here. I love this new week ahead page. I don't know about you guys, but being able to write everything out kind of like a weekly spread is really nice. Or kind of time block by day to say what things you're gonna focus on so that you can just take a look before you fill out your daily page. Anyways, if you're considering ordering from Daily Grind Planner, make sure to use code AmyPlansThings because it will save you 10% and it helps me out at no extra cost to you, so thank you. Okay, now that we've got the base of that in, let's get Alice and a whole bunch of other stuff, fun stuff in there. Let's cover this up with some pretty stickers because we have a lot. I wanna use this one, but it's gonna go over something. Ooh. And then we need a little bit something else in there. I'm trying to make sure that all of it gets covered up. Usually there are a couple of box stickers that just have decor and no quotes. I'm not really seeing that this time. Maybe we can use both of these. Let's see, if I go like this, will I be able to cover it all up? I don't think so. Okay, let me think, let me think. What about that and then the circle up there? Yeah, okay. So I'm holding so many stickers. We're gonna cut this here. This one's also great because it kind of matches the washi tape that we just used. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right here and this one over like that. This one here, look at that, that's perfect. I could use this somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay, and then we have all these tiny stickers that we're gonna use. Look at how cute these are. So let me just check in on Alice. We've got her here. Let me think about her for other things, but we definitely need to add in the other characters. So I'm gonna add them in so they're not taking up too much space around the spread so that they're kind of in between all the things. Looks like he's jumping from one to the other, that's cute. Okay, and then the Cheshire Cat needs to be hanging. So that's perfect. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, uh, butterflies. And I think we're pretty good, unless we want to add in the little kitty. But we've already got the kitty here, Alice here. I think we're good. So there is my Alice Week Ahead spread. Then I'd love to see if I can use one of JoJo's because I have been hoarding these stickers and I just need to use some. So which one is, this one's Holiday. So this is the one we'll use. So she has so many cute things. So we've got this like art type one. We've got this adventuresome one and then all these like potions and things. So I think Thing. Let's do this one. And oh, this is actually, I love this. We're gonna put this right here and then get a little quote in the corner of it. You don't have to fill it up 
with this area with something for gratitude or things. You can always have quotes or other things. So we're just going to go ahead and put this here and white out that section. At least like four or so of them. That's really cute. Okay, so next up, we're just gonna add the little tent over here. And later, once I have printed out this section, we can add highlighter there, but I think these will go really nicely with this. Let's just double check on the back. Yeah, I think that'll go pretty well. So let's use those. Can I get the little s'mores in somewhere? Mm. Up here, I want to put the compass. I think that's going to fit pretty well. There's a little bit less space on this side because of the punches. So I think those are the stickers we'll use, but then we're going to highlight things to really pull it together. So as mentioned, I will not highlight this section yet until I've printed everything off, which I'll do at a later point. Okay, I'm just going to get this back in so it's not over the edge as I try to highlight these. Okay, and then since this is a Monday, we'll go ahead and make a box here, and then we'll need something here and here. And then I also love to make boxes on the top three movers section. All right, and with that, the only thing left, I feel like I do sort of need a little bit of color in here. So what we're gonna do is highlight a few, leaving some empty spaces as well. Okay, the last thing to do on this one is that I do like to outline boxes to just make them pop a little bit more. So I grab my black pen and just outline these, and then I can do some sort of cute thing here so today because we are decorating quite a few pages well maybe one or two more i'm gonna outline it like that okay so this was using jojo's pretty paper shop on etsy and then let's go ahead and do a live love posh one because i haven't used these stickers so this is the crafty sticker book and it's so cute and for june let's go ahead and use this kind of green and pink. It is just so cute. Does she have any boxes in here this time? No, that's all right. We will uh, do without or grab some from somewhere else, but look at how perfect this is. Oh my gosh. All right, I also love all these florals because if I don't drop the sticker, they're see-through, they're translucent. So you can still kind of see even if it goes over the uh, text. All right, something little down here. Let's do a pin cushion. That'll be perfect to go with it. And then what can we put up there? Let's do that. And I want to put a quote in. She's got all these awesome little quotes. Working on my PhD projects half done in crafting. That's really funny. I like that one. We're going to put it right on that grateful and excited for section. Sometimes I use that for gratitude. Sometimes I just love putting a quote in there and that's a great quote. All right, so I do want a box to go with it. So let's go ahead and grab something that'll have some boxes. Just taking a look, here's a colorful boxes from Happy Planner. And I'm thinking some of the plain boxes. So for instance, for the top three movers, we can use these little ones and do like black and grays and stuff. And I think it'll look really nice. And today's game plan, let's see, this will be a Tuesday. All we really need is one right there. That's it. That one doesn't quite fit. We'll just stick it back on the page, but these will fit. 
So we're gonna white out this section so the boxes can be at different levels. And we're gonna do this one here and this one here. I love layering. Then we can put a little something else there. Let's see, I've got these giant florals we could put in or some more from here. I love this one. So we're gonna add that in and get some buttons. All right. So that's pretty good. Let's do one more. And I'm thinking I also just got this sticker book from Costhetic Plants Desert Oasis. That would also be good. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, let's use that one. So many sticker books, you guys. They're all so good. Okay, this one is so cute. Just look at these cactus stickers and desert. I absolutely love it. Okay, so gonna put this one here which will require taking this out and I'm gonna cover up that much of course it all stuck together and rolled whoops all right as you saw in the previous month I don't decorate every page but I do when I have the time and honestly I use it more when I decorate it I feel like I have a more productive day so just a Try it out for yourself and see if that's the case for you too. All right, let's put this girl here too. That's so pretty. Okay, some boxes. Let's put a green box right here. That seems great. And then it'll be a Wednesday. So we'll get one here and here. And then a slightly bigger one in the morning. All right, now we can add a few more decorations in. So I would like to use this one if I can grab it. We're gonna use a little bit right here and then use the other piece elsewhere. I think we want a bigger piece right there. So I'm gonna put this one down here because we have this little space and then we'll just trim off the edges of this one. All right, I do have links down below for those that I'm affiliated with. Um, so if you choose to shop, thank you so much if you uh, use those links. Don't forget code Amy Plans Things if you choose to shop at Daily Grind. And I don't have codes, I mean links for Live Love Posh or JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. I'll list it down below because I love them, but they aren't affiliate links. So anyways, this is our planner setup for this month, the week ahead page, a couple of daily pages to get us started and the cover that I'll be using this month. Let me know which cover you're using this month and thanks so much for hanging out today. See you all next time, bye.